Hey, what's up guys? Your boys Pilot 2K7 back with another Grand Theft Auto 5 real life mod video and I just want to say welcome to my office guys. You guys probably have no idea where I'm at. Well, this is the off-road dealership. We actually purchased this place over the summer, but we haven't spent much time here. But since we are back into the car business, I'm going to go ahead and spend some more time here. So this is our office as you can see. We have a TV, our chair, customers chairs a whole couch we have a lot of stuff in here too if you guys would like a full tour of this shop definitely let me know in the comment section but anyway guys welcome back oh this is what you guys are here to see today all of those trucks down there so let's go ahead and jump right into this guys so again welcome back to the channel if you guys do enjoy this episode make sure you guys go ahead and hit that like button so you guys are probably not used to seeing me wearing a suit in this series. Normally we're working hard, we got our utility clothes, our construction clothes on. But today, we got our suit on because we're out here at the shop selling some brand new trucks here. So basically at this uh, truck shop, we do two different things. We sell trucks and then we also fix up trucks as well. So on this side of the shop, you're going to see trucks that are stock and people want to make them customized. So they may want lift kits, they may want big rims they may want it to be uh, painted over we have a lot of equipment here and again I'll show you guys at another time but for today's episode we're actually going to be transferring most of the Ford trucks to our new Ford dealership which is in Los Santos if you guys remember that dealership you guys voted for me to bring the off-road trucks to the dealership so we already have all the regular Fords at the dealership today we're going to focus on bringing the off-road um, one to the dealership. So let's just do a quick run through of our inventory and pick what we want to take. So we have a, I believe this is a Raptor. Uh, this is going to be a F350 King Ranch Edition with a nice lift kit. Nice rims on it. Nice suspension. Very, very nice. This is a, another Raptor here. So we'll probably only bring one Raptor for now. Over here, we got a Chevy. So yeah, like I said, at this shop, we do it all. We have Chevy, Dodge, Ram. We have everything over here. So this Silverado is freaking crazy. Like, look at the lift kit on this thing, guys. And as you can see, we have our sales representative. We have some interested buyers in here want to buy, buy some trucks, which is awesome. And this shop, this shop works out pretty well because we're right here in the heart of uh, Blaine County here in Sandy Shores. And a lot of people out here buy trucks. So hopefully people in the city will buy trucks as well. I guess we won't really know until we get down there and see. So we got the uh, Top Kick GMC over there. Uh, right here, we got another F350. I don't even know what edition this is, but this thing looks like a freaking tank from the front. This thing just looks crazy. Uh, we got the 6x6. This one is by the Diesel Brothers, which is pretty cool. It's a real life truck, too. This one was made off of that. So that's pretty cool. I'm sure some of you guys may rec recognize this. And also, for any of you guys that watch Farming Simulator 19, you guys may rec recognize that as well. It's a mod in FS19. All right, so here we have a Velocity Raptor here. Oh, 6x6 six six as well. This thing is a beast. So we're going to take most of these trucks to the, to the dealership, guys. Uh, over here, we have another 6x6. Six six, and then we also have uh, another F350. I don't even know what to call that one. <laughs> uh, then we have some stock GTA 5 video uh, vehicles in here as well. So those are all the vehicles that we have. Um, I'm going to go get changed, and then we're going to start loading these up. You know what? I could drive them outside with my suit on, really. I just don't want to load them with my suit. So let's start taking these outside, guys. Some of the colors look a little weird, but it should, it should clear up once we get outside. So let's start up with this Raptor here. Okay, turn this bad boy on. And we already have our trucks and our trailers waiting outside. Uh, probably going to take us take us uh, two trucks because these things are big. We can't fit these on the normal car carrier, so we got to use the um, the long flatbeds for these here. But here, here's another look at the shop. Like I said, if you guys would like me to do a shop tour, because there's a lot of stuff here, just let me know in the comment section down below. Also, if you guys are an OG sub, if you guys remember this shop from the summertime, let me know. Let me know. Alright, so for now, I'm just going to start parking everything outside. So yeah, this looks much better outside here. This thing looks awesome. So I'm going to park everything outside for now, guys, and start taking everything out one by one. And let's cut through the entrance right here. 
All right, so next up is going to be this one, the Hennessy Veloraptor. I think that's what that says. I feel like there's a C in there. I don't even know how you properly say this. Velociraptor? I have no idea. <laughs> but anyway, guys, we got the 656 coming out now. This thing is a beast right here. Now, like I said, I don't know how well these things are going to sell in the city, but you guys did say we should bring them out to the city, so that's what we're going to go ahead and do. And we can probably load this one up first. Let's go ahead and put it up here. That, I'm hoping we could fit like three trucks on each trailer so we could at least bring six down But these things are really big. So I don't know if we're gonna be able to fit three on each. We'll see All right, so I'm gonna pull it as far forward as we can But we do need to leave a little bit of space for it to roll forward in case it has to And that should be okay. We can always touch it up with the trainer as well, but we'll go ahead and attach it be good all right so that's that also let me know guys if you guys like any of these trucks as well and if you guys would purchase any of these if you could like say if you had like i don't know like 10 million dollars would you buy a truck like this or would you buy like a car would you buy like a regular uh civilian version of a truck like not like a standard version basically so let me know what you guys think all right guys so next up is the king ranch coming out and this should be enough to load one trailer here. Alright, so let's see if we can fit all of these on this one. So we got one 6x6 six six and then we have two uh, regulars. I don't know if all of these are gonna fit guys. This is these trucks are so big. <laughs> Try to line it up a little bit better. Yeah, we can't put them too close together because they're gonna be rocking. We don't want them to like bump into each other. Let's see if we can fit all all three of these. We may have to just make it really tight. After this we'll uh switch clothes and then we'll load up the second one over there. Oh, it's just gonna fit, guys. It's gonna be tight, but it fits. It fits. Alright, it's gonna be hard to lock down. Gotta do this one fast. Alright, so... Yeah, we're good. We're good. This just gotta move over a little bit, but let's attach this. Alright, there we go. Alright, so we got a decent amount of clearance. Not the most, but it's it's alright. That should do that should get the job done. Alright guys, so we switched into our regular clothes and we got the second truck loaded, but um yeah, everything didn't fit, so uh Yeah. I don't know. You guys think we're gonna get pulled over for that? We we got it strapped down. It's strapped down, everything's good. I think we'll be okay. So he's going to finish up the final adjustments. I'm going to go ahead and get my truck started. <laughs> Hopefully we don't get pulled over. I think we'll be okay though. So we got six Ford trucks and we're going to be taking them to our Ford dealership now, guys. So let's get ready to roll. All right, guys. So <laughs> we're ready to roll. Let's go ahead and start up and the other guys are going to be following us here. See if I can even get around him. It's gonna be kind of tight. We're gonna swing this baby around. Swing it wide. Oh, we're gonna hit that tree. Kind of hit the trailer. Okay, we're good. All right, so let's roll out. All right, guys, so I made a little bit of a mistake. Um, I stopped recording, so we missed about like two minutes of us driving as we were leaving the dealership. So that's why the next scene is just going to jump to when we're on the highway. Sorry about that. All right, guys, so we got that all fixed up and he's good to go. So, yeah, like I was saying, who are you guys rooting for in the Super Bowl if you guys are going to watch it? I kind of cut that guy off a little bit there. <laughs> Alright, so let's make our way towards the city, guys. It should be a nice, easy drive. 
got the convoy going and um yeah i think next time i'll do this i'll let the uh other truck driver lead the way because i always lead the way sometimes you know we gotta let our our employees lead the way as well let other people uh you know develop their leadership skills basically what i'm saying so uh yeah let's put the pedal to the metal and uh let's get to the city some of you guys were asking me to do some more first person so let's hang out in first person for a little while beautiful truck here beautiful truck but yeah, I'm excited for the Super Bowl. I have some cool Super Bowl videos coming soon, so make sure you guys look out for that. And we'll go ahead and... Oh, he's getting over as well. Now we're both... Oh! See, that's the bad thing about first person. I can't see what's on the side of me. Oh, this looks so nice. Yo, we are hauling right now. We moving. Alright, let me get out of get out of that before I run everybody off the road here yeah this looks so cool let's do some more recording to a rockstar editor here yo we freaking moving this looks so cool that may be the screenshot guys maybe all right so we're coming up in the city already should be at the Ford dealership any moment now well not any moment now because the red lights are going to slow us down but we'll be there soon we will be there soon in the meantime though guys make sure you guys go ahead and hit that like button go ahead and smash that like button guys i see you guys really have been enjoying the real life mod videos so I'm trying to do a couple a week um almost every day if i could monday through friday maybe on the weekends too we'll see but um yeah guys continue to give me your suggestions let me know what you guys want to do next and also while we're talking about that um our next plans for the ford dealership is to have the grand opening so uh we already brought the regular fords now we have the off-road fords and i think we have everything that we need for the um grand opening now so let me know what you guys think so i'm thinking maybe next saturday um, I can't do it this Saturday, but maybe next Saturday we'll have the grand opening. I think that should work. All right, guys. So here is where it's going to take us a long time because now we're in the city. And even though we have like three quarters of a mile to go, we're probably going to get stuck on all these red lights. Hopefully we don't. We'll see. Yeah, these cinematic shots are just beautiful. Really, I'm enjoying this, guys. And we still have a lot to come to, guys. The real life mod in a couple weeks, it's gonna get even better. We're gonna get new trucks. I can't wait, guys. There's so many new trucks that we're getting. It's gonna be awesome. All right, so yeah, we're stuck in traffic. All right, guys, so we have made it to the Ford dealership. And man, these trucks look awesome. We're gonna, we're probably gonna have to take that F-150 down and put up one of these bigger trucks. But I don't know what we should put up there yet. I guess you guys can let me know in the comment section. So let's start unloading these things, guys. Here's the fun part. Uh, which truck should we unload first? I guess we'll unload mine first. Alrighty, let's get to work. Alright, so I'm just going to start unloading all of them really quickly. I guess we could put the ramps down too. Don't want to sh scratch up any of the new cars, of course. Alright, ramps are up or down. Let's go ahead and detach. Alright. I'm gonna take a risk and just do them all, but I'm just gonna freeze them. So that way they don't go flying. <laughs> you don't really have to freeze it, but sometimes they go flying. But most of the time it won't go flying if you're not in it when you detach it. All right, so the first one's already rolling down on its own. Let's catch it. Now we're gonna have to rearrange some of the other vehicles now because we're, we're gonna have to show up these four trucks as well. So 
Um, we may have to move some of these other cars out of the way. Now, if you guys did miss the video where we, like, pretty much set up the whole Ford dealership, definitely go back and check it out. I'll, uh, post it as a card right here. So you guys can go ahead and watch it afterwards. Alright, so we're gonna have to make some space over here, guys, because I want these trucks to be in the front. People are gonna have to see these things, you know? So let's get them all unloaded, then I'll try to shuffle them around a little bit. Maybe we'll move some more cars. Ouch. Jesus. <laughs> Maybe we'll move some up, some more cars to the others. All right. Next up, King Ranch coming down. All righty. We have so many cars spawning right now. The game is kind of twitching out. I wonder if we could put some cars up here, maybe. Should we put some cars over here? Oh, <laughs> that's not even supposed to be here. Let's delete that. <laughs> I don't know if this is a good idea or not, but we kind of show off the heavy dutiness of the trucks. I don't know. Maybe we could put them up here, but then, you know, nobody can really see them up here, though. Trying to find some, oops. Trying to find something cool to do with them, like put one wheel up or something like this. There we go. There we go. But yeah, like I said, we're gonna go ahead and rearrange this for now. But that looks pretty cool, though. Like I said, we're gonna also try to get some ramps. I said in the last episode, not in this episode, but we're gonna try to get some ramps over there so we kind of get more of the cars up in the air like that F-150 is. And then also, we gotta pick which truck we wanna put in the air. Should we put the red 6x6 up there? Should we put the white Diesel Bros one up there? Should we put one of the F-150s up there, the Raptors? Should we put the King Ranch one up there? I don't know, there's so many options. So let me know in the comment section what do you guys think we should put up top but yeah we're gonna have to move a lot of these trucks around so i'm thinking let's move these little cars over and then we'll put some of the trucks behind the little car so we're gonna move this uh what is this again of this focus and we'll move that mustang and maybe we'll move the explorer too we'll see we got to put all the like fancy cars in front all right so this one is done let's uh work on this side now this is gonna be the fun one to uh disconnect everything here <laughs> all right so i just realized i wasn't recording so i already took this f-150 and we put it right here for now and we took the focus that was here and we drove it around and put it right here for now and then we're well now that i'm here i was gonna take this out and put this one in the front since this is a sport model want to definitely show off the cooler ones so that's what i just did unfortunately i forgot to hit record so you guys kind of missed that it was kind of cool though because we were drifting that focus around the back <laughs> we was driving in reverse and we flipped it around and it was just crazy so let's grab this next one <laughs> yo <laughs> this is a good thing about having off-road trucks man you just do crazy stuff with them yeah we are so off right now Alrighty. <laughs> I just wanted to do that. Okay, so we gotta find somewhere to put this now. I just feel like making everything just like I don't know how to explain. It. I just I'm just gonna have to show you guys. So let me move this over really quickly. Damn, we we gotta move all of these cars around, guys. This is gonna be crazy trying to do this. Okay, let's have an idea for this truck here. Let's um, let's do something like this here. I don't know. Oh, oh. Okay, let's back it up. It has like a collision. I'm noticing right there. So I don't know if we're gonna be able to do this. Let's try again. <laughs> Yeah, am I crazy for doing all this stuff? I'm just trying to show off the trucks though. I want people to know that if you buy one of these trucks, you're capable of doing just about anything. Oh, we're gonna flip this thing over. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't realize how steep it was there at the end. Okay, um, dang, I would put it right there too. Maybe we could put it right there instead. Let's see. <laughs> all right, guys, do you guys think I'm going over the top with this? 
<laughs> Let me know. This is probably going to be a liability if this thing flips over and falls on somebody. But what we'll do, we'll uh, strap it down over here so it won't go anywhere. So I don't flip over or anything. But I think that looks pretty cool. Let me know if you guys think we should do that or if we should just put it back regular on the ground. Alright, last but not least is the 6x6. Six six. So let's go grab that one. Alright guys, last but not least, the 6x6. Six six. This thing is huge. This thing is huge. I don't know. Should we put this 6x6, six six, the diesel one, up there? Or should we put the uh, the red 6x6 six six up there? Or should we put the orange raptor, the gray raptor? Or should we put this, uh, I don't even know what to call this one over here, but the one on the sidewalk, should we put that one up there? Or should we put the king wrench all the way in the back, the one that's on the dirt? Should we put that one on the ramp? But yeah, I'm gonna have to try to figure out how to get more ramps. Yeah, we should put a car on this to like, yo, that would be cool, guys. I think we gotta put a car on this. Let's put the Fiesta on this, or the Focus on this. I keep calling it a Fiesta. <laughs> that would be cool, guys. Yo, this is about to be the craziest dealership ever, yo. Yo, Simeon. We about to put Simeon out of business, guys. We about to put Simeon out of business. Oh man, this is so crazy. I think I'm gonna park this just like this too. But you know what? We gotta put we gotta put a, a focus on this. So let's go grab a focus. Well, we got one right here actually. Let's let's take this focus. <laughs> We're gonna put that on top of this. Okay, here we go. All right, guys, we got it on, yo. This is about to be crazy. <laughs> we we're gonna have to put a, a sign on it uh, focus is not included focus is separate if you want to buy the truck it does not come with the car in the back <laughs> all right let's try to see if we get it get them both up here now oh oh that looks pretty cool too you guys ever see those Jeep Wranglers when they like do it it's so cool they be like putting them on top of each other like their wheels so they'll, they'll take one Jeep Wrangler and then I'll put the second Jeep Wrangler wheels on it. I'll see if I can remember to show you guys a picture. I'll put one right here. Oh, it's so hard to do this. It's like collision issues, it looks like. Ah, oh, so close. Okay. But then again, I mean, this wasn't really made to do this at all. So I can't really complain. I don't really mean to complain when I'm saying that. I'm just trying to explain it for the, those of you that don't know what's going on. Okay. I think our dealership is good guys. I think we're good to go. So all we got to do now is just rearrange some of these cars, but I think we're pretty much ready to go. So we got the Diesel Bros 6x6 with the Focus on the back. We got to figure out which truck we want to put up here. We got this boy up here. This guy, I don't even know what to call this guy, <laughs> but we got this guy chilling right here. Maybe we put another one over here too, like do the same thing with another truck over here. But what I was talking about earlier, we got to get a ramp on this side so that we could lift these cars up in the air so that people on the street could see them. Because like right here, you can't really see them. So we got to get them up in the air so that customers could see them as they're driving by. But the dealership is looking good, guys. Maybe we'll put another truck over here. But like, I'm trying to make everything as visible as possible. So like... As soon as people drive by, they'll be able to see what's going on. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this episode. This is currently how the dealership uh, sits right now. So we'll go ahead and save it. And we still have this side over here as well. We may move some more cars over here. We'll see. But I got to save a little bit of parking for customers and employees as well. So that is how it's looking for now, guys. So hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure you guys hit that like button. If you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, guys. And make sure you guys have the notification bell turned on. Hit that bell, guys. That way you know exactly when I upload a video. And you could join the notification squad and be one of the first to watch one of my videos or live streams that we upload every single day. Also, guys, I want to thank you guys. January was a really good month. Um, everything went well. You guys enjoyed all of the videos we did. And we actually brought back the Real Life Mod series. And it ended up being the most popular series this month. So just want to say thank you guys for watching. As always, if you made it to the end of the video, definitely let me know by leaving a comment in the comment section down below just letting me know that you made it to the end so i give you a special shout out 
in the uh, comments section there. But again, guys, hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what was your favorite vehicle that you guys have seen so far. And don't forget, guys, we have the grand opening coming up. Probably going to be next Saturday, guys. We're going to have a grand opening. We're going to have food. We're going to have events i don't know we're gonna try to sell like a hundred cars i don't even know it's gonna be crazy guys but um if you guys would like to see that definitely let me know and let me know if you guys are gonna make sure that you'll be at my grand opening next saturday all you got to do to attend is just click on the video and you'll be there so if you guys are gonna be there definitely let me know but yeah guys thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoy and i will see you guys in the next one peace